There are a lot of complicated rigs in carp fishing, but today I'm going to show you a rig that's dead easy to tie up and I found it to be very effective. I call it the Simple Faithful Rig. I mainly use this rig as a bottom bait rig for boily fishing and I started using it a few years ago when I was doing a lot of midweek overnight sessions between work. So generally arriving at the lake about half six, seven o'clock in the evening and then having to be off again about seven o'clock the next morning to go to work. Now, I don't like to take lots of ready tied rigs with me when I go fishing. I prefer to tie the rigs on the bank to order, depending on what sort of rig I want, what sort of fishing I'm doing. Um, but because you're, I'm arriving at the lake after work, I don't want to be spending hours tying up rigs either. So I wanted something that was quick and easy to tie up, but also highly effective. And this is how I arrived at the simple faithful rig. So let's have a look at the rig. Starting with the hook bait, this is a straight out the bag 16 mil bottom bait and I've trimmed each side so it lays nice and flat on the lake bed. Then I've got quite a long hair between the hook bait and the hook, probably about an inch. And this just provides a greater degree of separation and more of a mouthful for the fish to get rid of, so it's just more difficult to eject. The hair is trapped against the uh, bend of the hook with a short section of 0.5mm silicon tube. And the hook itself is, is sort of crucial to this rig really. It's a size 6 ESP curve shank. Very strong, very sharp. But the main reason for using this is with this hook pattern, you don't need to use shrink tube. But what you'll notice, slightly unusually, is I've formed the knotless knot with a coated section of braid. Usually when you're doing a combi rig or something like that, you'd have a strip section with a stripped hinge above the hook. But with this, you've got a coated section immediately above the hook. But about 10 to 12 mil above the hook, I've put a very small crack in the coating to re reveal a hinge of about one, one to two mil long. So the section of stiff coated braid between the hook eye and this hinge almost acts like a section of shrink tube. So you kind of got the properties of shrink tube without having to spend the time shrinking the tube down when you get to the lake. So it's, it's just a time saving element. This sort of short section, it helps to turn the hook exactly the way a section of shrink tube does. So I'm getting the best of both worlds really. Quick and easy to tie up, but all the properties of shrink tube. Then above this, I suppose the rig's probably about 10 inches long. Um, in the middle of the rig, I've got a small blob of tungsten putty just to anchor everything down. And then at the top end, five turn grinner knot to a size nine union link swivel, a lead clip, two and a half ounce lead, and then a lead core leader. Basically, where I was using this rig, it's quite a weedy lake, so I wanted the lead to ditch on the take, so I was the fish comes up in the water and I was playing it above the weed. Um, reason for the length of the rig, I ge generally fish this sort of 10 to 12 inches long. I'm fishing it over boilies, so the fish are moving between each bait, picking them up. And I know a lot of people like to use short rigs, but sort of my uh, sort of theory has always been give them enough rope to hang themselves. And I always found that with a longer rig, they take the hook further back in the mouth and you get a better hook hold. So I'm now I move on to how I actually tie the rig. So step one, take a spool of 20 pound strip tees and strip off about three inches of coating off the end. You, can, you just do that with your fingernails. So that's the section with about th three inches of coating stripped off. The next step is just to tie the hair loop. So just a simple overhand loop in the strip section of braid to form the hair loop. So there you go. That's the hair loop. I'll trim the tag end in a minute. So you can see you've got the hair loop strip section of braid and then going into the coated section. Next I cut off about 12 inches of the braid and this will form the overall length of the hook link. The next step is to add a short two to three, well about three mil section of 0.5 mil silicon tube which will trap the hair against the bend of the hook. So I'll just thread that on with a splicing needle and slide it down the hook link to the strip section. So 
Then I take a size six curve shank. Thread that onto the hook link. And then pass the hook point through the section of silicon tube, being careful not to um, snag any of the braid. So let's check that's, that's not snagged, that's fine. Thread that round the bend of the hook. So it's rough, it's in line with the barb at the top of the shank. Then I'll set the length of the hair. So allowing for a 16 mil boily plus about an inch gap between the uh, bait and the hook. And then I just tie a simple five turn knotless knot. So you can see the coated section of braid is forming the knotless knot. It's five turns, back through the eye. So that's the hook tied on. The next step, this is one of the crucial elements to the rig, is to put a tiny crack in the coating about 10 to 12 mil above the eye of the hook and that creates a small hinge with the stiff section between the eye of the hook and the, and the crack in the coating almost acting like a length of shrink tube. So I've just broken the coating there on the fingernails and that forms a nice small hinge in the coating. And then I just simply tie in a size 9 Unilink swivel with a five turn grin or not. One, two, three, four, five. Moisten it down. And then just trim the tag end. And some sharp scissors. And then the final part of the rig is just a small blob of tungsten putty in the middle just to anchor it down. mould it to make it nice and malleable. And that is the finished rig. So that's a simple faithful rig. I've done really well on this rig. I've actually caught my two biggest ever carp on it, as well as some other decent fish from different waters. As you can see, it's quick and easy to tie, perfect when you're in a hurry, but crucially, it's highly effective.